The U.S. aid breakthrough action Nigeria has engaged the people of Jamaa Ward of Toro local government area of Bauchi State for total sanitation exercise and call for regular practice as health experts identify environmental hygiene as a major challenge that contributes to widespread loss of fever in many communities around the area. During the sanitation exercise, village head of Jamaa community Isa Umar expressed commitment to ensure every household comply with regular sanitation and proper storage of farm produce to avert too many rats, which is also one of the causative agents of Lhasa fever. A Baltimore State correspondent, Awal Hassan, completes the story. The community of the local government area of Baltimore State, which is predominantly inhabited by agrarians, it is one of the communities in Toro that has a history of Lhasa fever outbreaks where many people have been hospitalized. Bello Ahmed and Abubakar Umar are among the survivors of Lhasa fever who were recently discharged from hospital after being diagnosed with the disease and admitted for about two weeks. You know, in the Shamagani, then you got to come on us and so get a Gamagani over a Kajikin and she can and Jikia Kesh. Look at the Akagano and Nanchutada Gajikina and someone in Magani, the Abanakuma and someone in Kulada Nida, I have Ubangiji, a son of Samulafia. To Alhamdulillah, he did a look at the Akatabatramondo and Nanchutang. Sumbani Magani, Sumasumun Jinya, Nawariki, Domina Kawajan Kwana Goma, in a Chikakwana Goma, Nankosakatar Batram, the Chiwa, one Nanchutan type Taragajikina. Poor environmental hygiene has been identified as one of the major challenges faced by this community, which has contributed to the widespread of Lhasa fever. In an effort to address the challenges of environmental hygiene and curb the spread of Lhasa fever in these and other communities around Toro, USAID Breakthrough Action Nigeria deems it necessary to embark on this sanitation exercise where residents were engaged and assigned to clear the market space. So one of the things we felt we needed to do was to, to, to see how we were able to work together to have a community-led environmental sanitation and wanted it to be owned by the community. And such, we were also able to drive the process ourselves, ensuring that people are demonstrated to ensure that the community members are seeing what we are doing. Jamaa. Being a community that is predominantly inhabited by farmers, their interaction with rats, which is another causative agent of Lhasa fever, is also a source of concern as their mode of storage for farm produce can easily attract rats. Our concerns are basically the fact that first, the hygiene, sanitation of the environment where these persons are living, which is the community, then how they are also able to do proper storage such that we don't have the entrance of these uh, rats into the warehouses to eat these grains. I've showed you a couple of warehouses where we see how, how little this is. It's not properly sealed to the roof of the house. We have gaps where these rats go in, you know, and you can see the grains all on the floor. You can even see samples of uh, excreta feces of rats within that same space, you know. While at the palace of the ward head of Jama'a, Isa Umar pledged to ensure regular sanitation in the community. <laughs> He also promised to ensure regular monitoring to ensure that each household comply with the instruction. Awalasan, V I 